all right guys so in this today's video we will talk about top small cap stocks that mutual funds are still holding now this data is as per the portfolio disclosure which was made in may 2021 now uh, before we dive into this video it is very important for us to understand this uh, the small cap stocks are inherently very volatile now this stocks since it is small it has much more space to grow and give a very good and stellar return to the shareholders so uh, the difficulties to find good small cap stocks are the data are not very much available and it is very difficult for a retail investor to do a deep research into those stocks and then finally invest on those store stocks so for that uh, if we follow our approach of uh, mutual funds uh, small cap mutual funds what all stocks they are holding especially the top holding of those mutual fund scheme in small cap stocks that would be a very good starting point right so with this background what we will do in this video we will see the top five mutual fund that we have in country right now and we will for each small cap fund we will see which stock is holding the maximum exposure all right so uh, this mutual fund sir is a small cap fund nippon india small cap fund axis small cap fund kotak small cap fund and the last one is lnt emerging business fund all right guys so uh, just a small disclosure this information is based on the portfolio disclosure by the respective mutual fund houses in last may so please do not take any of this content for as an advisor suggestion it is purely and purely made for your information and educational purpose so the first one is lg equipment and this small cap stock is held by SBI small cap fund. It is having 5.2% of exposure in the entire portfolio. Now, surprisingly, in the last one year, this stock, the LG equipment, has increased 2.7 times. All right. And it is trading at the current market price of 2,213 uh, rupees. And the price multiple, which is also known as PE, is 65. Now, it is just not the LG equipment that uh, the stock uh, we need to know. We also need to understand which sector does it operate and what is the nature of that particular sector. So, the business sector at which the LG equipment operates is basically uh, air compressor. Now, air compressor, you can see on the screen, so LG equipment is kind of the market leader to manufacture uh, air compressor and uh, in the last couple of years it has really shown good uh, return because of their superior business performance all right so moving to the next stock which is deepak nitrate deepak nitrate is one of the uh, very well known small cap stock um, it is not only held by nippon small cap fund it is held by almost all the small cap funds now you can understand when almost all the mutual cap funds in small cap segment is investing in a particular stock, very high possibilities is there that the stock is superior, right? So um, in their portfolio, a Nippon small cap fund, 4.7% exposure is given on Deepak Nitrite. And in last one year, this stock has given stellar return 3.6 times it is trading at current market price of 1733 and the price multiple of 40. now uh, deepak nitrate it basically operates in the chemical sector it op it produces chemical basically there are two types of chemical one is the basic chemical and another one is specialty chemical now as you probably are aware um the paint industry use a lot of chemical to produce their paint right so deepak nitride actually produces uh, the ingredients of making paint so because of that a lot of paint company directly procured their material from deepak nitride and almost 60 percent of the revenue of their entire uh, deepak nitride's uh, portfolio comes from the uh, ingredients which is required for the paint Apart from that, they uh, they have a more diversified portfolio uh, where they uh, 
they prepare um, much more uh, chemicals which is required for the detergent paper and so on and so forth now what is very interesting about deepak nitrite is their management their management has a very exceptional track record of project execution and a very important thing to understand when you are talking about deepak nitrite is this company is totally after imports substitution what do we mean by import substitution say in india lot of uh, activities which is pharma agrochemical all those sector there is a requirement of chemical ingredients right and most of the cases india exported from foreign countries predominantly from china deepak nitrate is specially focused to replace that import that we do from other countries means all the company in india they do not have to go outside to procure their material deepak nitrate can make those ingredients so that is one of the key importance of deepak nitrate and very recently they have uh, they have put a capex of uh, phenol phenol most of the indian companies used to procure from outside now after deepak nitrate has uh, done the capex and installed uh, the facility to manufacture phenol the revenue has jumped and as a result their share price has also exploded so something very important deepak nitrate has been doing this and they will be focusing on the substitution import substitution more uh, uh, predominantly now moving ahead it would be very interesting to see the next capex what deepak nitrate is doing and as you already know their management would be exceptionally good at executing so it would be very interesting to check deepak knight right now moving uh, to the next one which is galaxy surfactant it is owned by axis small cap fund in their entire portfolio it is having 6.5% of the exposure it's a relatively higher exposure in particular one stock in the last one year it has increased 2.2 folds it is trading at a current p multiple of 37 and the current market price of 2974 now galaxy surfactant their business model is to produce uh, chemicals now they produce lot of varieties of chemical as you can see on the right side of the screen they have uh, customers from uh, 80 plus countries and they produces very wide range of products like right now 205 products more than that they have very importantly if you just look at the bottom their last 10 years their volume has been expanding at a 10.9 cagr ebit has exploded 4.5x and profit after tax also has improved at 19.8% so it is just not one year story galaxy surfactant is having a consistent track record of giving or producing superior result and that has been reflected totally on the share price so moving forward it would be very interesting to see uh the performance of the galaxy surfactant moving to the next one which is century ply board india this is not a very well known stock among the retail investor or uh, you know it does not come very often in the news kotak small cap fund is actually holding it and if you see the return in the last one year it's superb 3.7 times it has increased in last one year so in their portfolio 4.7% exposure this stock is having it is trading at a relatively a higher pe multiple of 63 and the current market price is 409 so what does they do as the name suggests the century plywood it is basically involved in producing plywood right so most of you are very well aware of the plywood in the recent trend what we see in the building manufacturing for specially decorative uh, work or art work the use of plywood has been increasingly getting popular right so because of that uh, the sell and the new products and the more decorative and uh, primer product are coming into the market and basically that is the trend that century plywood is capitalizing because of that if you see their share price has also increased quite a bit in the last 3 to 5 years moving to the very last uh, stock in today's discussion it is kpr mills limited 
L and T emerging business uh, fund owns it. Basically, this is also a small cap fund. It is having 4.8 percent of the exposure in the entire portfolio of L and T emerging business fund. Last one year, guys, it has increased three times. No kidding, three times. We do not know this name. So these are the hidden gems. This uh, mutual funds are exploring. They have a quite a good research team. Analyst, anal, uh, I mean the team who does a solid research, and then they find out this gems. So we do not hear these names very often. So we should capitalize what information we get from their portfolio disclosure. So it would be very interesting to check KPN Mills in moving forward. If you see something interesting, it is not trading at a very high P multiple. It is 21, and current market price is 1535 rupees. So, as I was uh, doing for all the other stocks, what sector does it operate? We need to understand. So, it operates in um, quite a bit uh, diversified portfolio. The first one is a yarn, which is required the fabrics for the textile industry. It is used. It is also involved in producing sugar and ethanol. Now, guys, uh, if uh, if you're not quite aware of the sugar and the ethanol, basically these are not uh, two very different sector. When the sugar is manufactured as a byproduct, ethanol is also prepared. Now, so this two, the sugar and ethanol, we should not consider in a two different bucket. We should consider it one single bucket. Now, in this bucket, if we see, it is a cyclical sector. The sugar, sugar cane, or sugar or ethanol, it's a basically cyclical sector. So when we are invested in this business, we have to keep in mind that cyclicality is involved in this business. All right. Now, um, why this stock has uh, given a solid return? We need to understand a little bit why it is happening. What is happening be behind the scene? Now, guys, um, what is happening with ethanol? It's very interesting. Now, uh, Indian government has uh, encouraged to mix the ethanol into the gasoline or the uh, petroleum gas product like say diesel, petrol. Previously, uh, we had uh, uh, the, uh, the, the recommended percentage was around 5% and now it has increased to 10%. Now, very, very interesting guys. When ethanol is put or mixed into the oil, and the demand increase the demand increases from five percent to ten percent. So basically, the rate of which the ethanol is getting mixed is also increasing, right? So if that happens, there would be an increasing demand of ethanol because from the petroleum product, your ethanol is less costly. All right. So if you're mixing this to both, then your overall price should fall at least a bit. So in that way, the demand of ethanol is slowly slowly picking up 5% was the limit before now it is 10% so almost double and this demand slowly will be picked up by the stocks now again to remind you it's a cyclical when the sugar cane or sugar or ethanol is involved it is going to be a cyclical play so investors should keep this in mind so coming to the final verdict, we have uh, already discussed five uh, very interesting idea that mutual funds are exploring and getting a good return out of it. Now coming to the final verdict, uh, we have picked four stocks out of this five, which is Deepak Nitrate, LG Equipment, Galaxy Surface Tent, and the Century Plywood. We have removed the last stock, which is KPN Mills, because a little bit cyclicality is involved in this. So if an investor is not well known of the cycle at which uh, the stock is currently trading, it could be a very high pitfall, right? So uh, this four business that, uh, the other four business that we have discussed is really solid and it is having a really, really uh, good futures going forward, especially uh, Deepak Nitride and Galaxy Surfactant. So these two are my favorite stocks. I will be digging a little bit further in these two stocks further. And LG Equipment and Century, Century Plywood also I should keep in uh, radar for uh, tracking out the performance of the stock. So I hope guys you found this information interesting and um, thanks for checking out this video. I'll catch you up in the next video.